do secretly recorded conversations link a police sergeant to his third wife's death and the disappearance of his fourth wife. Friends claim they wore a wire and taped conversations with Drew Peterson from mid-November through mid-June. About a week after this all happened with Stacy coming up after she vanished, uh, we noticed that Drew was acting weird, just things that he was doing, things that I can't reveal right now but we knew that he had done something. During those seven months, Paula Stark and her husband claimed Peterson wished aloud that he'd cremated his third wife, Kathleen Savio's remains. He put it as, I wish I would have cremated her. I tried fighting for it. My divorce was, of course, final, so they wouldn't give me the say, so her family stepped in. He said, man, if I would have cremated her, I could have thrown her out my car window and she would have been on the streets where she belongs. And he reportedly asked them to set fire to a memorial to his missing wife, Stacy Peterson. I, I truly believe in my heart that he had murdered both females, his third wife, Kathleen in the bathtub, and Stacy. She wasn't missing. I believe he killed her. Peterson told the AP he's confident he never said anything incriminating to the friends he's known for 16 years. The former Bolingbrook police sergeant also said the tapes will clear him more than hurt him. Just whenever anything flares up, you know, uh, we're accused of something or I'm accused of something uh, uh, in the court of public opinion, I have a need to go out there and just defend myself to these allegations that are being made. Peterson has been named a suspect in Stacy's disappearance in October and the family of his third wife believe he was involved in her 2004 death. Kathleen Savio's death was originally ruled an accidental drowning, but her body was exhumed after Stacy Peterson vanished and a new autopsy revealed she was murdered. There was many things that I can't reveal right now. It will come out during the trial. It will come out with the transcripts and everything with the overhears, so I'm confident that he's, he's going to jail. The couple said they became suspicious after Stacy disappeared last October and said they agreed to help state police with the investigation. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.